Colin, if you could switch places with anyone and live their life for one day, who would it be and why? Um, I'll see what they want to do. Well, it's a tough question. Um, I would like to swap places with David Cameron, the Prime Minister of the UK for a day, see what that's like. Uh, this isn't realistic. <laughs> <laughs> if you could sit down and have a conversation with three people, alive or dead, who would they be? Um, I'd like to sit down with... Again, tough question. I'd like to speak to, to Tiger Woods. I love golf. I'd love to sit down and speak to Tiger Woods and just, you know, purely about golf. Um, <laughs> who else would I like to speak to? It'd all be sports stars. I love sports. Um, uh, I'd like to speak to. Jeez, I could sit down with Tiger, Roger Federer, and uh, Michael Jordan in a room. They would have a pretty interesting conversation. What is similar? What is something you do when no one else is watching? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, pretty personal questions here. Um, something I do when no one else is watching, probably. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't a tennis player, you would be what? Um, probably be the Prime Minister of the UK. <laughs> How would you describe yourself in three words? Intelligent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, handsome and athletic. That wouldn't be my three words. <laughs> what would your three words be? <laughs> my three for you would be... I'll give you that one. Yeah. Uh, frail. That's a, <laughs> and yeah. hairy. Hairy, okay. <laughs> what is the first thing you would buy if you won a 250 million pound lottery? <laughs> 250 million pound lottery. First thing I'd do, genuinely, is split some of the money between my friends and family. You might even get some. You don't hear it. Okay. If you had a time machine and could go back and change one thing, what would it be? Uh, does it have to be something in my life or anything? Anything. Um, I'll probably go back and sort of change my body makeup so I could have like a yeah. 160 mile or so, something like that, that would probably that would work out. What, what is the first thing you grab from your refrigerator in the morning? Probably a, either the orange juice or the milk for soup. What is your favourite song on your iPod right now? I left my iPod in the UK so I'm not going to listen to it, but um, I've been listening to Ed Sheeran. The 80. It's a good song. A good little chill out song. What is your favourite TV show? Um, I actually don't watch that much TV. I watch a lot of sport on TV. TV shows, I would go for... I like The Office, the UK version though. <laughs> Come on, the, the American ones is nothing compared to that. <laughs> what do you think is your worst quality? Only one though. <laughs> only, there, only, there only is one. There only is one. I think I'm, I'm, I'm late. I'm often quite I'm late. Yeah. I think, so, yeah. My timekeeping. And think hard and take your time. What do you think is your best quality? Best quality would be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think um, my best quality would be generosity. <laughs> what? Very generous person, come on. He did say he'd split his 250 yeah, million Yeah, come on, I that's, that's the truth. That's I didn't the expect truth. something more than that, more than the little bit that he said he'd give me there. Yeah, well, sorry, friend. If you were stranded on an island and you could take one other player and then only one thing, the idea is that you're trying to get off the island, who would the player be and what would the thing be? <laughs> So I'm trying to escape the island. I need a player and something to help me. Someone strong and smart. Okay, so and not you. <laughs> <laughs> I need a
Yeah, what do I need though? What do I need to get off the island? Probably need a boat, you know? I'll just take a boat. I'll take a boat and yeah, I'll take you, you can roll while I just do a bit of sunbathing. Jeez, like I'll take Ross in a boat. Like <laughs> Different questions for you. Oh no, I was thinking about yeah. my answers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's so on the go quick tennis Q&A. What is your passion outside of tennis? Um, my passion is... I like doing alternative business and having ideas on different projects. What is your biggest pet peeve? Pet peeve. <laughs> my biggest pet peeve is... people not being happy for people that deserve what comes to them. <laughs> can you, can you laugh? Oh, so, <laughs> so for example, when, when someone does well in something and they've worked hard and they deserve it, and someone else not being happy for them and putting them down, I really don't like that. What are you most afraid of? Um, <laughs> Tennis-wise, I'm probably not fulfilling what I aspire to be as a tennis player, um, and, and in life, probably, looking in the mirror, <laughs> yeah, people not being happy. Do you have any guilty pleasures? Pick a mix. Pick a mix. Yeah. <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Sweet. In England we have a pick a mix at SB. It's always prize money on pick a mix in cinema. In cinema. Yeah. Yeah. Can what, be. what is your favourite movie? Um, Pretty far. Gladiator is up there. And uh, yeah, I take Gladiator. I've watched that a lot. Okay. What is your favourite food? Um, I like uh, tortellini a lot. Okay, tortellini and tomato sauce. <laughs> Strange answer. <laughs> tortellini and tomato sauce. Okay. It's what I eat all the time at home. What is the last thing that you read? Can you read? No. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I read. Um, Shattered Bones, I read recently. Um, so was that a thriller? It's by. It's a thriller. What is your most embarrassing moment? Jeez. Uh, I don't really put myself out there that much to get embarrassed. He likes to sit on the fence. If there's something controversial to be done, he puts me up to yeah. it. I'm the one I'm the fall I take, I take the hits. Um, my most embarrassing moment is. Probably a couple of years ago we had to do some forfeits and I had to stand up in a Japanese restaurant in front of about 100 people and dance in a pink tracksuit and uh, okay. my dance isn't that good. <laughs> okay. uh, Who is your celebrity crush? Celebrity crush? Got it all yes. I like all the petite dark haired girls, so like a Kate Beckinsale or like a Natalie Portman, but I think that's quite effective. Uh, okay. Do you have a girlfriend slash boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> People say the amount of time we spend together, we're virgin, yeah. and, but I do have a girlfriend of uh, 10 years. Okay. Um, what do you look for in a girlfriend slash boyfriend? <laughs> well, again, my boyfriend, I look for a tennis player, okay. and my girlfriend, I look for someone who can make me smile, who I think is attractive, and who uh, puts a smile on the face after one of my bad days. If there was a fire and you could only save one thing, what would you save? Right now, in the hotel, I'd say my passport, because I love the UK. Couldn't get home. <laughs> you couldn't get another one? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you had one superhero ability, what would it be? Um, I would love to be able to fly. To fly? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of aeroplanes, so we have to travel a lot to just flying places. It's a long haul flight. Yeah, just <laughs> stick your hand up and go. <laughs>
got some either or questions. Okay. Facebook or Twitter? Twitter. Coke or Pepsi? No, no. Blonde or brunette? Brunette. Shower or bath? Shower. Boxer or briefs? <laughs> Boxes off court, briefs on court. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather lose your hair or your teeth? I'm already wow. losing my hair. I'm already losing my hair, yeah. <laughs> my teeth don't sew. <laughs> um, I'd rather lose my hair. <laughs> Dog or cat? Dog. Beer or wine? Wine. Ocean or mountains? Mountains. Money or fame? Money. Vampires or werewolves? Well, apparently I look like a werewolf, <laughs> so werewolf. <laughs> sweet or salty? Oh, you know that one's sweet. Good. Now or later? Now. And singing or dancing? Dancing. Not great either. <laughs> 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 Thank you.